I promised a subscriber I would make this video because they're struggling with this problem and they've asked me about it and they think it would be worthwhile for my whole community. So I'm gonna talk about it. The seven dangers of reconnecting with an ex when you're married. Okay, the first danger, your spouse may find out. When your spouse finds out that you're talking to another person, especially your ex, you are going to run the risk of losing complete trust and faith. These are not small things. Without trust, there is no relationship. So please consider that and help that make your decision. Number two, it may damage or completely destroy your marriage. And it will if it destroys the trust. And once again, I can't reiterate that enough. I would seriously not talk to an ex if this were an even possibility in my current marriage. Number three, it's giving your ex false hope. Listen, there's a reason you guys are an ex. And if you start opening that Pandora box again and going back and talking to your ex, it's going to open all kinds of ideas. You may not feel like you're giving her hope or him hope. You may feel like it's completely innocent, but remember, you are not them. And so it's really important, unless you're checking out with them exactly, that they know that this is not a false startup, that they won't feel that way. Number four, you may start thinking about rekindling an old flame. If you're in a process in your marriage that's full of conflict, maybe you guys have taken on a couple of things that are causing great stress, these are times you might feel like you need another crutch in the relationship. Perfect setup for an ex. And this is why I'm encouraging, instead of talking to an ex, talk to a good friend or talk to a therapist. That's a third objective party. It'll help get you clear and you won't run the risk of ruining your marriage. Fifth, old feelings may come back. Sometimes just the sound of our ex can resonate with things that we miss about them. And we can start idealizing and fantasizing about old things that were broken. It was obvious it was broken. They're, the, they're your ex and you're married now. But you, it's really hard to dissuade that when you hear their voice. Number six, you may do something that you later regret. Getting back with them, meeting them, would be a huge regret once that fire burned off. And it will burn off because they're an ex and the chances of you two actually working it out would only cause further confusion in your married life. Then what? You're going to have another ex, meaning your ex-spouse. It gets very confusing and overwhelming. So I'm really encouraging you to think this over carefully. I think lastly, a lot of people around you are going to get hurt. And that goes hands down. When you are talking to an ex, you're not only taking that choice upon yourself, but everybody who loves you is going to be part of that potential break, hurt, that violation of trust, and everything else. So this is what you should do instead. Remind yourself why your relationship ended the first time. Focus on your own emotional and physical health. Let's face it, if you're reaching out to an ex, there's something going on with you that needs attending to. Letting go of the past and holding on to the present and the future would mean something like writing everything you're looking forward to in the future and everything going on in your past that maybe could have started you thinking about this ex or thinking this might even be a viable choice. Whatever's happening in the present and the future is affecting how this past ex is becoming something that you're entertaining right now. Think about everything you may lose if you talk or reconnect with this ex. And when I say think about it, I mean journal it, talk about it. It'd be ideal if you could talk to a therapist about it because they could help you see how some of the fantasy, some of the old grieving, is getting in the way here. And remember, an X is an X for a reason. And I can't reiterate that enough because sometimes 
when you get those old feelings or you're going through a bad time, it's like an addiction and you automatically go back to old patterns that are hurtful and perhaps even harmful. It's important that you entertain these five things if you're feeling like going back to an ex.